First and foremost, uh, let me underline how happy and lucky I am to be here and that I'm really honored to be an honorable doctorate here at this young but very dynamic university. The link to the university goes back at the minimum 10, 11, 12 years. I was in those days the executive director and Under Secretary General of the United Nations responsible for the environment. And this uh, instrument for the environment policy, the United Nations Environment Program, is headquartered in Nairobi in Kenya. And so it was a chance to uh, sign a cooperation agreement between the UN on the one side and Finland on the other side for a cooperation here in Yonsu at this university for a training program for people from around the world, especially from developing countries. And uh, this was now 10 years ago. I learned just now that now we have those wonderful books as results of all that. It is a success story. And I'm, as you may imagine, quite happy. If you're a little bit a father of something and this grows up and people are convinced, quite a nice child. Then you are happy as a father as well. And therefore I'm uh, very good to be back, knowing that there are new changes here. We have now the University of Eastern Finland. You are cooperating with your neighboring uh, campuses. All this is increasing the importance, the relevance of this university. It's good to know that also in more rural areas, uh, like in Karelia, such a university is available, giving the chance for young people to study here and not only to go abroad. All this makes me happy to be honored here. You have made a very impressive career in research, in German politics and in the United Nations, as you already mentioned. And uh, in these roles you have actively promoted measures that mitigate climate change. And uh, here at the University of Eastern Finland, climate change is one of our strong areas of research. And um, how do you see the role of academic research on climate change for policy making? You see, until today I am very closely linked with those topics. Uh, I was asked by the German government and by the scientific family of Germany to uh, start a new institute for advanced studies. It's headquartered next to Berlin in the nice city of Potsdam. And our topic there is climate and energy. This is in the center of our activity, especially in Germany now, maybe that you are aware that in Germany we decided to have what we call the energy vendor, the change of our energy supply structure. And this gives you a lot of link to climate. We, I have a lot of experience, as you may imagine, to go to climate conferences around the world, numbers, 14,000 people and all. But in the long time of the climate convention and the Kyoto Protocol, CO2 emission didn't decrease, they increased. By the way, quite now they are increasing in Germany as well. Specific topics and hopefully only for a short, short, short time. And therefore it is so important to develop new energy technologies. That is my contribution quite now. I had the chance and the honor to be asked by the German Chancellor to be the head of what they called the Ethic Commission on Energy Policy. We recommended to phase out nuclear. We recommended to do this in 10 years and to increase accordingly the renewable energy production capacity and to influence massively the demand side to have a higher energy efficiency, to reduce the need for energy. All this is a direct contribution. I'm fairly convinced, and the facts and figures are proving it, that we are on the way to make renewable energies, mainly solar and wind, but also biomass, hopefully also very soon geothermal, and others really internationally, globally competitive as a gift, especially to developing countries, where they can use it for their economic progress they urgently need to overcome poverty. Living eight years in Africa gives you a feeling 
that poverty is really one of the most poisoned stuff in the world next to the consumption pattern of our so-called developed part of the world and therefore energy is in the center also especially of climate policy and we try to handle this very carefully and hopefully also successfully. And um, today it's Thursday here in Joensu and you will be having many more days of celebration and festivities ahead of you. And what are you looking forward to experience during your time here in Joensu? First and foremost I want to enjoy the ceremony itself. There are numbers of outstanding colleagues here around. I can see young scientists. I just had the chance to learn a little bit on the structure of the Karelian Institute, of the Institute of Environment. All this is of highest importance for me as well, because I'm fairly sure that in our time we have something like a renaissance of the regional identity, and that is stabilizing our societies. And I can see it here. We know that after the breakdown of the Soviet Union, it's a totally new situation linked with borders. I was to utmost interested to learn what is to be done here in the Border Institute, how to study it. What are the consequences in a time where un unluckily uh, borders are again in the center of tensions, even of conflicts and wars, as we see it quite now in Ukraine. So this is a very good chance to have those information taken on board and to consider them later. Of course I'm also very interested in the wonderful region and therefore it's great to have on Saturday morning the chance to go by boat around, having a little bit of feeling of the open space, having a feeling of what is really in the center of the Finnish identity. And all this makes my short stay, together with my wife, very productive and I hope also as attractive that I finally come back earlier than only after 10 years as I did it in the past.